A very warm welcome to all of our wonderful viewers. This is a brand new show and a brand new episode of the splendid cooking show that is called Dine with World. And every week we bring you wonderful recipes. I really hope that you watch our show regularly and do try these out. And today we are joined with a senior chef of Serena Hotel Islamabad, Chef Ishtiaq. Welcome again. And thank you so yeah. much for letting us come here and to see what you're preparing for us today. So guys, I hope you have your notepads and your pens ready. Our chef is going to tell us what he will be preparing for us today chicken roast okay so wonderful and today our very talented chef is going to make chicken roast for us so make sure you guys have your notepads and pens ready we are moving on to the recipe card for chicken roast you need chicken drumstick four pieces salt for taste black pepper crushed three grams fine flour 150 grams corn flour 20 grams Red chili powder, 4 grams, lemon juice, 8 ml, 1 egg, water as required, and oil for frying, 500 ml. First, we will make the marination for chicken roast. So guys, make sure that while your marination is being made, you have set uh, the oil uh, on the stove because you want the oil to be really hot and bubbling when you put your chicken in to be fried. Otherwise, it will stick to the bottom of the pan and the batter won't fry through properly. Yes. So. This is fine flour. Okay. Two tablespoons of fine. So guys, make sure, make sure that you use two generous helpings uh, yes. of two tablespoons of flour. One and a half tablespoon corn flour. Okay. And if we want, can we add a little bit of baking powder or baking no, soda no, no. into it? No, no, no. No baking powder okay. in it. Lemon juice. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. So we will put the ingredients. Okay. Black pepper crush. Okay. And guys, make sure, like I always say, that the black pepper that you use is always freshly ground. Half teaspoon. Okay. Red chili powder. Okay. For chicken roast. Okay. And you can make it as spicy as you want. As, and as you want. Yeah. So you can vary the ingredients depending on how you like to eat it. Yes. Salt. Okay. And I think the marination is the most important step. It is more important non, than frying non. it. Yes. And one egg. So, first we will have to mix it. Okay. With the egg and lemon juice. Okay. And guys, then make as sure required, we will add the water in it. Okay. So you don't want the mixture to be very lumpy. You want it to be very smooth and consistent. So make sure that you stir it properly. Yes. This is the basic thing. Okay. So you can see that these are the basic ingredients that you need in order to make a crispy chicken roast. And I'm sure your kids will love it, your family will love it. And make sure that you make it for your friends. And it's not even that time consuming, is it? Yes. So Chef, I'm sure that you've um, made a lot of uh, yummy recipes uh, throughout uh, the years that you've been working as a chef. So which one recipe is your favorite? Fish curry. Okay, yummy. And will you be making that for us in the future? Yes. Okay, wonderful. And if you had one chance to cook in one country in the world, which country would that be? UK. Okay, wonderful. And fish and chips are very famous in UK. I love eating fish and chips. Fast food. Yes. Especially. So we can see that our chef is making, uh, is whisking the batter and he's making it into a very fine, smooth marination. And like fish, we can leave the marination on the meat and uh, leave it in the fridge for it's some It's better time. you will have to leave the uh, chicken in the marination three to four hours in the fridge. So make some cuts on the chicken. Okay. Like because this. we really want uh, the flavor to go in to, yes, into the bone of the chicken. Okay, wonderful. And just really make sure that you massage the marination into the chicken. You really want the flavor to really set into the meat. 
And while our chef is marinating our chicken, let me tell you about the ingredient of the day that I've chosen. And that ingredient is an egg. Yes, these tiny eggs make a lot of wonders. They do a lot of wonders. They're high in protein. You can cook them in various ways. You can either boil them, fry them, or whisk them into a perfect omelette. You can add in whatever you like. And uh, there is a very famous saying that an egg yolk a day keeps the doctor away. So that is enough for us, for us to understand that eggs are very healthy. Make sure that you do incorporate them into your diet. So, this is the fine flour. And uh, is this the coating that we are going to use? Uh, we will have to coat it okay. with the fine flour. Put some salt in the fine flour. Okay. Because otherwise, if we don't add any salt, it's going to be uh, tasteless. Tasteless. Without the salt. One, uh, one and a half teaspoon. Okay. So, first we will have to mix the salt in the flour. Okay. So, we will have to marinate the chicken drumstick in it. Okay. In the marination. So we won't Mix be using any water in the flour and we're just going Pour to... Put some water okay. as required. You will have to the okay. thick marination. Marination yes. is not getting okay, down. Wonderful. So... Okay. And we really just want that coating to be thick and to cover the entire base of the chicken so that it really fries well and gives you that really crispy golden brown texture. And guys, this is the most important step. Make sure that you marinate your chicken properly. You really want it to taste good once it's done. And that will only be possible if you marinate it thoroughly. And preferably, you can leave it in the fridge and leave it uh, to marinate for an hour or two or leave it overnight. Better you will have to put the chicken in the marination overnight. Okay. So uh, that will give the best results? Best results. Okay. Wonderful. This is very tasty very delicious and take minimum time yes exactly and the preparation time is very less you can easily prepare it right when your guests about to uh, come over you can easily prepare it yes and serve it to them very hot and crispy this is the chi chicken roast children favorite dish yes exactly children love it and uh, you can give it to them with french fries or with some bread and I'm sure they'll love it yes so you'll have to put the chicken into the oil. And guys, always be careful when you're using hot oil. Uh, you really want to know your way around the kitchen because it can be very dangerous. So make sure that you take all the precautions and are careful. And are we going to fry this on low heat or a medium heat? On low heat. Okay, chicken so roast, you will have to okay. fry on the low heat because if you will fry on the medium or high heat, yes. it will become dark okay. from the outside and the chicken will remain raw in, from inside. Okay, so it really needs its time to really cook. So you will, we will have to check. It's perfect. Okay, wonderful. The oil is perfect. We will have to put the chicken into the oil. And guys, make sure that you add the chicken into the oil very gently. You don't want any of the batter or the coating to fall off. Yes and make sure that you adjust the heat to a very low flame. Like our chef said that if the flame is too high or is on a medium setting, then the chicken will be raw and the coating will start to turn dark. So make sure that you adjust it at a low heat. You really want the chicken to be cooked through. And you can see that chicken roast will go absolutely well with anything. You can serve it with french fries, with ketchup, with any other dip or sauce. And your kids are going to love this. I really hope you try this at home. You can see that our chef has given us such an easy recipe. It won't take you so long. It, it's not too time consuming. You will easily find all of the ingredients at home. So do try it out and give us your feedback. All of your suggestions and your comments are always welcome. 
And when can we start turning the chicken? When it will become a little bit light brown, we okay. will have to turn over the chicken. Okay. From the other side, it will get light brown. Okay. One. When it will become golden brown, it okay. will be done. Okay, great. It will take uh, early 8 to 10 minutes. Wow, wonderful. You see, guys, this is such an easy recipe. I'm sure everyone's going to love it at home. Do try this out for your family and friends. And we can see that the chicken is starting to get really fluffy and crunchy. Yes. Although the batter was really simple, but it's turning out to be magnificent. Magnificent. The basic thing is the marination. Yes, exactly. And we have to put the chicken into the marination. The marination must be like this. Okay, it has to be very smooth. Very smooth. Yes, we can see. You can see? Yes, exactly. And we can see that our mm. chef is turning the chicken from time to time. The chicken is getting a little bit color. Yes, we'll and the color is starting to change. We we'll have to change the size of the chicken. Okay. And guys, if you can see the coating right now, it's very. It looks very, very crunchy. It, the chicken is starting to change color. It's turned into this very light yellow, goldenish color, and we want it to be brown, Gold, golden brown. brown. Okay. So that's our goal, and that's what we are waiting for, and that's what's going to be the sign that the chicken is done and it's ready to be served. Because we, when we have to change the direction of the chicken, yes, it will be cooked from the all sides. Okay, fine. Then uh, it won't be raw at all. Raw at all. Okay. So it will really be cooked through. So make sure that you keep on turning the chicken from time to time and be careful. You don't want the batter to break, so be very gentle when you're doing this. Yes. Okay guys, like you can see that the chicken has um, come up with this beautiful uh, color of golden brown and our chef cooked it with a lot of determination and effort. It had not moved from this place and our chicken is ready to be served out into a platter and presented according to our chef's choice. <laughs> Hardly take 8 to 10 minutes. Yes, it's hardly going to take 8 to 10 minutes, so it's not that long and you're going to come up with a wonderful recipe. So, we will have to remove the chicken from the oil. Okay. Gently. Wonderful. Okay. So guys, you can see that how our chef is draining the excess oil. It is very necessary that you do place a napkin or a kitchen towel um, under your chicken. You really want it to absorb the oil. And we can see how beautiful uh, this chicken looks. And the recipe was very easy. It's not at all time consuming. You can put it on the table very quickly. The ingredients are also very simple. Very, very simple, yes. So, our chicken broth is ready. Wonderful. And we can see that it's turned into a very beautiful color. And now is the final step, which is the presentation. Presentation of chicken broth. So, we have already put the okay. tomato ketchup Wonderful. in the ramekin. We can see that the chicken is fried to perfection. The batter looks wonderful. I'm sure it tastes great too. And we can see our chef is now presenting it for us. He's just yes. adding the final steps. No garnish at all. Okay. We will have to put some pomegranate okay. sauce dips on the platter. Okay. So we can serve it with ketchup, with french fries, any of your favorite dips that you like. Very simple, very tasty, very delicious. Wonderful. And That's you guys? the main presentation of chicken roast. Wonderful. And you guys can see how beautiful the chicken roast looks. And I really hope you guys do try this at home. You can see that our chef, our very talented chef, made this recipe from scratch using very simple ingredients that will be available at your house. Thank you so much, chef. And You're I can't welcome. wait that what you have in store for us for the main course.
you can see that our chef prepared a magnificent dish for us. He made a wonderful golden brown, very crispy chicken roast with very simple uh, ingredients. Thank you so much, chef, for sharing that recipe with us. And what do you have in store for us for the main course? It's prawn curry. Okay, wonderful. For the prawn curry, you are going to need prawns, 200 grams, salt for taste, red chili powder, 4 grams, turmeric powder, 3 grams, green chili paste, 4 grams, garlic paste, 3 grams, ginger paste, 3 grams, tomatoes grind, 30 grams, brown onion paste, 20 grams, cumin powder, 3 grams, coriander powder, 3 grams, yogurt, 15 grams, dry methi, 3 grams, fresh cream, 10 ml, and butter, 30 grams. So let's start. Okay. Switch on the fire on medium heat. Okay. So first of all, we will have to put the clarified butter. Okay, and or ghee? Or desi ghee. Okay. Two tablespoons. Okay, wonderful. After that, chopped garlic. Okay. And I see One that it's very finely chopped. Finely into chopped. very small pieces. Okay. And ginger paste together. Okay. We'll have to saute it. Okay. So we really just want uh, the flavor of the garlic and the ginger uh, to get released into our ghee. And prawns are a very versatile dish. You can cook them with absolutely anything. And uh, you can toss them into a pasta, make them into a curry, however you like to eat it. Yes. It's all upon your taste. You can do it in Mughalai dishes, Pakistani okay, dishes, wonderful. Um, for barbecue, in mm -hmm. continental dishes. Okay, wonderful. And it is one of the most favorite and loved seafoods. Yes. Especially for the barbecue. Yes, exactly. Tinmil jinga, the best grilled item. <laughs> yes, that's For the prawn. And we can see that the ginger and the garlic are starting to uh, sizzle in the ghee. Yes. And when it will become light brown, okay. we will have to put green chilli and other spices in it. Okay, so are we using a green chilli paste? Yes. Okay. And our chef told us how a green chilli paste is made. It's very easy. All you have to do is blend the chilies together, add in a little bit of vinegar and the green chilies won't lose their colour. You will have to add oil. In oh, it. sorry. Not vinegar, oil. oil. Add oil into the green The chilies. colour of the ch green chilli will remain the same. Okay, wonderful. So, the garlic and ginger is getting colour. Yes, we can see that it's starting to change colours, turning into a very light brown. Yes. Okay, wonderful. And guys, remember that keep on stirring. You From don't want your sides, ingredients to burn. Yes. You have to stir the spoon okay. into the garlic ginger paste. Okay. Make sure all the garlic ginger paste get light brown. Okay. Can see. Yes, we can see that the garlic and ginger has changed its color. And giving its, its aroma. Yes, and we yes. can actually smell the wonderful aroma so, of the garlic and ginger sauteing in the ghee. So we will put the other spices in it. Okay. Green chili paste, one piece. Okay, wonderful. Mix it. Then the other spices. Okay. Turmeric powder. Yes. Quarter Half teaspoon. teaspoon. Okay, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Cumin powder. Okay. One teaspoon. Coriander powder. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon. Red chili powder. Half teaspoon. Okay. Salt as per taste. Mm -hmm. So, so we have mix to all these okay. spices. So we will have to put the tomato paste. How many tablespoons? Five tablespoons tomato paste. Okay. And two tablespoons brown onion. Okay. And our chef also explained the method of making this paste. It's yes. very easy. First, you will have to brown the onion. Okay. Remove from the oil. And then you will have to blend it 
in the blender with the water. Okay, fine. So it's going to turn into this very fine paste that we've yes. used in our curry. Yes. You can feel all the aroma from the spices. Yes, exactly. Comes out. It's a very rich aroma. Yes. And all of the spices and all of the ingredients are blending together. Yes. And at this point, are we supposed to decrease uh, the decrease flame? Decrease the flame. Okay. Put some fish stock. Okay. And how yes. do we make fish stock? Gently, you will have the bones, fish bones. Okay. You can saute the garlic, ginger, and carrot. Okay. Onion with one tablespoon of oil. Okay. Then you will have to put the bones in it. Roast uh, with the garlic, ginger, onion. Okay. And after that, you will have to put the water in it. Okay. So that's very easy. It's not complicated yes. at all. So we will have to stir, stirring the masala. Yes. We don't want any of it to get burnt or stick to the bottom of the pan. Yeah. So we have to continuously stir it. So now we will have to add the prawns in it. So we will have to put prawns in it. Okay, wonderful. Around about 200 grams. Okay. And we can see that these are already de-shelled and washed. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, there you go. Especially when, when you will have to wash the prawns. Uh -huh. After that, you will have put some vinegar in it. Okay, okay, fine. In a bowl? Uh, one or two tablespoons okay. uh, of vinegar, yes. white vinegar, and uh, put some water in it. Okay. Because the smell of the prawns will get out. Okay, wonderful. Because some people have an issue with the way with certain the... seafood smells. So. Okay, wonderful. We shall cook the prawns very short time. Okay, because they get cooked very easily and mm -hmm. very quick. Yes. So we don't have to worry about that. And you will have to cook the prawns for a long time, it will become chewy. Okay, and we really want them to be soft and tender. Soft, soft and tender. Yes. It okay, will wonderful. take four to five minutes. Okay, wonderful. So guys, you can see that this recipe is also very rich in flavor, but very easy to make. So we will have to put the yogurt in it. Okay. Plain yogurt. Four tablespoons. Okay, four tablespoons of yogurt. And guys, make sure that you keep on stirring. Stirring. You can already see that the curry is changing its color. It's, it's becoming very it. consistent and smooth. So we will have to add some more fish stock in it. Okay. To make it curry. Okay. This is because you want some gravy in it? Yes. Okay, wonderful. And guys, make sure that you take the gravy off from the sides of the pan. After one or two minutes, we will have to add fresh cream in it. Okay, wonderful. So that's the really just going to add a rich flavor into our curry. Flavor. Wonderful. If you want more flavor, you, you can use uh, cashew nut paste in it, okay. almond paste in it. So this is also a Mughlai recipe? Yeah, it's a Mughlai Okay, wonderful. Recipe. But now we are adding only fresh cream in it. Okay. We can see that it's starting to bubble now, so yes. we'll wait for a minute or two. Or? So we'll have to add fresh cream in. Okay. Four tablespoons. Okay, four fresh tablespoons cream. of cream. Stir it gently. Okay. We don't want the prawns to break. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
you, you can see the color has yes, changed. Yes, the, the color has changed. It's become very light. Yes. And uh, it's a very thick gravy now that the prawns are cooking in. So and all of the ingredients have blended together. We'll add dry methi. Okay, wonderful. The basic thing. Okay, so this is the basic ingredient yes. of this recipe. Mm, that one. smells wonderful. The aroma is yes. the aroma is wonderful. You will have to mix it. Okay, wonderful. And it's added a very nice color into our curry. Yes. So switch off the fire. Okay. The prawn curry is ready. Oh wow, this is such a lavish dish which you have prepared in such a short period of time. It looks absolutely wonderful and the gravy is very thick. It looks really nice. So time for the presentation. Okay. And what can we usually eat it with? With rice, steamed rice? Especially we will have, we will have to use the curry with steamed rice. Okay, wonderful. It's better you, you can use Or with rice garlic with rice or any form of rice? Well, garlic rice. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Because we really want to taste the flavor of the curry. Yes. And we don't want the rice to really overpower the flavor. So make sure that you keep the side dish very simple. Put the pork in it. Okay, wonderful. And this is the best dish for people who love seafood, especially prawns. It's very easy to make. It's very less time consuming. So do try this at home. Must try. Must try at home. I'm definitely going to try it. I don't know about you guys, but you should try it too. Yes. So, so we will garnish with the fresh prawn. Okay. Wonderful. Garnish with the. Add some garlic. Ginger. 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 Okay. Green chili slice. Okay. Cut into. Okay. Slice. One. is ready. Wonderful. And we can see that our chef has garnished it to perfection. It's a very royal dish. It's a Mughlai dish. Make sure that you serve it to your loved ones with steamed rice. You don't want the flavor of the side dish to overpower the flavor of this very yummy curry. And uh, our chef has been very kind. He taught us some wonderful recipes. First, he taught us how to make crispy chicken roast with very simple recipes, with, with very simple ingredients. And later on, he made a Mughlai dish for us. And he showed us how simple it is to make quality food. Thank you so much, Chef Ishtiaq, for joining us. You are welcome. And thank you so much. And uh, guys, we are always open for your feedback, your comments and your questions. They will always be entertained. Do keep on watching our show. Thank you so much for joining us.